Welcome to Sony Ericsson Support. In this video, we'll take a look at how to manage the contacts in your phone. Tap the contacts icon from the home screen. Scroll through the list to see all your contacts. If you want to scroll faster through the contacts, drag the right side of the screen and you can go through the list alphabetically. On the top of the screen, you can search for a contact by tapping in the text field and enter the name of the contact you wish to find. To add a new contact, tap this icon. If you have not yet set up a sync account, the contact will be directly stored on your phone's memory. By using a sync account, such as Google Sync, your contacts will be stored online and are always available both on your computer and in your phone. To add your account, tap the menu key now tap Settings, tap Accounts and Sync, and then Add Account. Tap Google and follow the instructions on the screen to add your account. When you have added your account, go back to the Accounts and Sync menu. By enabling Auto Sync, your contacts will always be synchronized to your online account. Go back to the contacts list by tapping the back key twice. Now when I add a new contact, I'll choose to save it to my Google account. Tap the contact picture to select an image for the contact. Choose to select an image from the gallery or take a new photo. When you have selected an image, drag the orange border to crop the photo, then tap save. Now fill in the details for the contact. You can add more fields by tapping the Add Field button and then which kind of field you want. You can also set a custom ringtone for the contact by tapping here. Tap a ringtone to preview it. When you're happy with your choice, tap Done. When all the details are filled in, tap Done. The contact is now saved. Your contacts in the phone book can come from different accounts, depending on which services you are logged in and synced to. To filter the contact list, tap the menu key and tap Filter. If you only wish to show contacts with phone numbers, tap this checkbox. To only show contacts that are online on Google Talk, tap this checkbox. Here you'll see the accounts that you are logged into and can display contacts from. These include your Google contacts, Sony Ericsson Sync contacts, Facebook and Twitter accounts, for example. In order to show contacts from Facebook and Twitter, you must first log in to these clients in your phone. Tap Google and select the contacts you wish to display. Scroll down and tap the other services to display contacts from. When you are done, tap OK. Now you can see all the contacts you've selected in the list. Sometimes, if you synchronize your contacts with a new account or import contact information in other ways, you could end up with duplicate contacts in your phone book. If this happens, you can join such duplicates to create a single entry. You can also join your regular contacts with your social media contacts. In this way, you can see your contact status updates profile pictures and photo albums directly in the phone book. Remember to show all contacts in the filtering menu before you start joining contacts. Touch and hold on the contact you wish to join. Now tap Join Contacts. From the list that appears, tap the contact whose information you want to join with the first contact. Tap OK to continue. The two contacts are now joined. If you join two contacts by mistake, you can separate them again by editing the contact. Let's have a look. Tap a contact to see it in detail. Tap Edit to change the information about the contact. If the contact is joined to another, you can separate them by tapping the menu key, tap Separate, and then confirm by tapping OK. The contact will be separated into multiple contacts. 
by tapping the respective fields and icons, you can call, send text message, or email the contact directly. Tap here to set the contact as a favourite, and tap it again to unfavourite. Your phone features social media integration with Facebook. This means that you can view photos and interests directly from the phone book without having to open the Facebook application. If the contact you are viewing is a Facebook contact, flick the screen to the left and then tap Yes in the pop-up dialog. You must now allow contacts to access your profile information. Log in to your Facebook account and tap Allow. You can now view the contact's photo albums. Tap on an album and then on a photo to display it. Tap the back key twice. Keep flicking to see the contacts' interests and likes. Go back to the contacts list by tapping the back key. Tap the menu key. Here you'll find options for importing and backing up your contacts. You can also send and delete contacts. Tap the back key. Tap favourites. Here the contacts you have marked as favourites appear for easy access. Thank you for taking the time to watch this film. You'll find more information about your phone by visiting the support zone where you can improve your user experience.